Magazine Tour. From the early morning to the late night, you're very, very busy. But once that small little break comes, boy, does it feel sweet. Well, if you're looking for a break, and if you're in front of a TV screen, which you probably are, then you're very lucky. Because in a moment, I'm going to take you around the world to taste some international delicacies. So are you ready to meet with us? Well then, let's get the show on the road. Come on. Just dip, lift, and taste a bit of heaven. These global recipes begin in the kitchen, but are cooked on the table. The global dishes are not only fun to make, but also fun to eat. Let's take a look at some dipped foods around the world. Our first stop, Japan. We visit a Japanese restaurant. There are pots on every table. What are those pots for? Chalang, 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 chalang. What are you doing? Ah, can you Chalang, 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 chalang. Hundred of them, shabu shabu. The name shabu shabu comes from the sounds made by the ingredients when they're dipped and swung in the broth. Thin beef slices and vegetables are dipped in the boiling broth. Everyone seems to be enjoying it. Can you tell us why shabu shabu is so delicious? Kumuri kanda juja. Many things are made with egg. 깔끔하게 담백한 고기를 아주 그 빠른 시간 안에 맛있게 먹을 수 있는 What makes shabu shabu delicious is the broth. Katsu bushi or dried fish flakes, shiitake mushrooms and bonito essence are quickly boiled at a high temperature. 아, 육수의 특징은 그 원재료의 맛을 최대한으로 살릴 수 있게끔 그냥 담백하게 하는 그냥 역할만 하는 거예요. It's time for the various vegetables. 야채는 보통 철에 따라 틀리긴 한데 보통 한 15가지 정도 Fresh seasonal vegetables, mushrooms, sweet pumpkin and seafood are sliced into bite-sized pieces and cooked right at the table. How did Shabu Shabu originate? Back when Genghis Khan used to lead Mongolian soldiers throughout Europe and Asia, soldiers used their helmets to cook meat and vegetables. The Japanese made this into a recipe. Quickly cooked and enjoyed shabu shabu. How thin should the beef slices be? 두께는 보통 저희가 1.5mm 에서 2mm 사이. 그 얇으면 다 고기가 흐트러져 버리고 너무 두꺼우면 고기가 질게 됩니다. 샵 샤브가 담백하기 때문에 그 이제 싱거울 수가 있기 때문에 거기에 이제 거들어지는 소스들이 있는데요. 본드 소스는 그 간장과 유자향으로 맛을 내서 조금 상큼하고 어, 곰맛 소스는 참깨 땅콩 소스라고 그래서 고소한 맛을 더하기 위해서 쓰고 있습니다. Once the simple flavored broth starts boiling and the vegetables are all set, the shabu shabu is ready to be enjoyed. First, put the chopped mushrooms, vegetables, seafood and beef in the pot of broth. When should you take them out? Don't let the vegetable, seafood and beef cook for too long. Just take them out and dip them in a fruity and savory sauce. It's perfection in your mouth. The customers get busy cooking at their tables. Come on, tell us how your shabu shabu tastes. That's not the end. In the leftover broth, you can add dumplings and noodles for a special treat. Mmm, just listening to the boiling broth makes your mouth water. The combination of a savory broth and chewy noodles. Customers lose themselves in the delicious shabu shabu. Our journey of dip foods continues. And where are we taking you next? China. 
We're at a very authentic looking Chinese restaurant. It seems the dipping continues here as well. At a glance, it looks like shabu shabu. What is this food? Chef, what's it called? <laughs> also called the Chinese version of shabu shabu is huo guo or hot pot. It's a traditional Sichuan style recipe. This is Sichuan huo guo. How big should the vegetables dipped in the hot pot be? As it is with the Japanese shabu shabu, a variety of fresh vegetables is prepared. This is yu zhou. <laughs> this is yang zhou. You can try two kinds of meat in a hot pot, sirloin beef and lamb leg. Hong tang is like a la jiao, sichuan la jiao, hua jiao, and like a gui pi, chao go, er si di zong zong yu chai, jing ao go, liu qi go xiao si. Sichuan cuisine is known for its spiciness, and one of the two types of broth is the spicy red soup. On one side is the original white broth with scallions, jujubes and gardenia seeds. On the other side is the spicy red soup. Once the two broths and the vegetables and meat are all prepared, the hot pot is ready to be enjoyed. The finishing touches of the hot pot are the sauces. There are many kinds of dips. The swanla is a garlic sauce, the majang a peanut sauce, and the jiang yu a soy sauce. Hot pots can be widely enjoyed because people can choose to have spicy or non-spicy broths. It's enjoyed in a way similar to shabu shabu. Just take the vegetables and meat, dip in the broth, and then in the sauce. Customers are dazzled by the taste of the traditional Sichuan recipe. Those who try hot pots keep coming back for more. Tell us what the hot pot dish tastes like. It's time for our last dippable food, which comes from Europe. It's from Switzerland. When you think of Europe and dipping, fondue is what comes to mind. Take a piece of food on the end of a long fork and dip it in melted cheese or sauce. 이제 풍교라는 거는 이제 녹이다라는 뜻이고요. 이제 기영 같은 경우에는 이제 18세기 이제 스위스 이제 사냥꾼들에서부터 이제 시작이 되었거든요. While hunting during winter, hunters in the highlands of the Alps would eat their hardened bread by dipping it in melted cheese. 근데 이제 날씨가 춥다 보니까 빵이 굳고 치즈가 굳어서 그걸 어떻게 먹을까 하는 차원에서 냄비에다가 그거를 알, 저 와인을 놓고 녹여서 빵을 찢어, 찍어서 먹은 데서부터 유래가 되었습니다. When eating fondue, you can put a variety of ingredients on your skewer, but many enjoy bread. 부드러운 빵보다 이제 바게트 빵이 굉장히 단단하거든요. 이제 부드러운 빵은 들어가면 녹기 때문에 이제 딱딱한 바게트를 이용해서 풍류를 먹고 있습니다. When you think of fondue, you think of soft cheese. What kind is used in fondue? 예를 들어서 우리 쉽게 아는 뭐 모짜렐라 치즈도 있고 아메리칸 치즈 있는데 그런 거 이제 점선력이 좀 떨어지고 그래서 이제 에멘탈이라는 치즈랑 그리어 치즈라는 게 있는데 에멘탈 치즈는 점선력이 좋고 그리어 치즈 같은 경우 이제 향이 좋기 때문에 두 가지를 이제 섞어서 어떤 재료를 찍어 먹을 수 있게끔 
처음 만든 오리지널 치즈가 이제 노샬레 지방에서 만든 노샬레 치즈 꽁기거든요. Mix a 2 to 1 ratio of Emmental and Gurria cheeses and add white wine, garlic, pepper, nutmeg and starch. Simmer at a low temperature and continue to melt the cheese with various seasonings. Place the bite-sized bread pieces on a long fork and dip them in the delicious melted cheese heated in the catalong. And there you have cheese fondue. 아, 이번에 하는 거는 이제 퐁듀 중에서 이제 오일 보리기노 퐁듀라고 해가지고요. 어떤 육류나 해산물을 끓는 기름에 넣어가지고 직접 익혀서 먹는 그런 퐁듀입니다. Oil fondue involves frying meat, seafood, and mushrooms in oil. 이제 자기 한 입에 들어갈 수 있는 크기로 한 입에 넣을 수 있는 크기로 자르는 게좀 중요하다고 생각을 합니다. Heat oil in a catalong pot and chop ingredients into bite pieces. Your oil fondue is ready to go. Once the oil in the pot starts to boil at a high temperature, put in the meat, seafood and mushrooms on a skewer. Take them out when the ingredients are crispy on the outside, dip it right in the sauce and have a taste of some delicious oil fondue. From cheese fondue with dipped chunks of baguettes to oil fondue crackling deliciously with fried ingredients, what do people say about the deliciousness of fondue? It isn't just the fancy dishes that make a great recipe. Global recipes that originated long ago during difficult times can also become simple recipes enjoyed with easy ingredients. They are the new global cuisine the world loves to eat. Hey guys, welcome to Healthy Kitchen where we bring you the healthiest of the healthiest cuisine. You already know who I am, but are you ready to meet the chef? Well, here she is. Today's chef is Park Bo Gyeong, a chef with great potential who graduated from the Culinary Institute of America. Hey, Chef Bo, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Oh, she's very pretty. <laughs> so I'm gonna. Oh, okay. That's, that's, that's cool. All right. Um, I'm gonna get right to it. What is today's um healthy ingredient of the day? Well, do you want today's hint? I mean, that would help. <laughs> that would help. Okay. You might get a better idea if I tell you this. In the West, people say cheese when they take photo, but mm -hmm. in Korea, we say this when we take photo. Do you have any idea? You know, I'm so smart. You don't even gotta tell me any more hints. You know what? I would just take a picture, and um, we I could say the answer okay. in the process. Cool. All right. Are you guys ready? Take a picture. Cool. One, two, three. Kimchi. Kimchi. Today's main ingredient on Healthy Kitchen is the Korean food kimchi. So, Bo, um, I heard there are so many different types of kimchi. Um, how many types are there really? Well, research shows that there are about 187 types of kimchi that have different main ingredients. Can you believe that? 187 different types of kimchi? Mm -hmm. Is that possible? <laughs> well, we're going to find out. 187. I mean, I, I'd be surprised if there's like eight different kinds of kimchi, but um, okay. Okay, first we're gonna take a look at this cabbage kimchi here. Mm -hmm. The cabbage is pickled in salt, mm -hmm. water, and ginger, scallion, mm -hmm. and salted fish. Mm -hmm. And then it is being stored in a tightly sealed jar oh. for further fermentation process. Okay. Um, here we have um, white kimchi. Okay. It's also called water kimchi. Water kimchi. This is made without um, red pepper powder, so it's got a nice white color to it. The last one. Yeah, and we're going to move on to this um, tonggak kimchi. Um, if I translate in um, English, it's called bachelor kimchi. Oh, yeah, because tonggak means <laughs> bachelor. bachelor. Yeah. Like a young man, you know, he's <laughs> single, like, um, like your host. Like you? Yeah, like me. <laughs> Take a big bite. <laughs> Alright, Bo, 
we're going to learn a little bit more about kimchi through some keywords. Okay. All right. I mean, well, I'm going to learn a little bit more about kimchi because you already know. So um, let's get our first keyword. Okay. Mm -hmm. So give us our first keyword, please. One of the world's five health foods. <laughs> the five healthiest foods in the world: beef, chicken, pork, goat, and lamb chops. I Go can, well, I can tell you're a big meat eater, right? I'm a, I'm a carnivore. Yeah, I love meat. <laughs> Am I wrong? Are, that's no. Those are the five healthiest foods in the world. No. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you the top five health foods of the world that Jake doesn't know. Okay, the health magazine in the U.S. selected Korean's kimchi along with Spain's olive oil, Greece's yogurt, India's lentil, and Japan's beans as the top five health foods of the world. And as we know, kimchi is a rich source of core vitamins such as vitamins A, B, and C. And it's also rich in fiber, and especially for ladies, it's good for diet. Wow, good job. That Jake doesn't know, huh? Well. In my world, it's always going to be my answers. Meat. Meat. Beef. Five healthiest foods in the world is my answers. And it's right. But you did a very good job. Thank you. Okay. And um, are you ready for a second keyword? Mm -hmm. Cool. Then second keyword, please. please. Lactic acid bacteria. Lactic acid? Um, can you just explain why the keyword is lactic acid, please? Okay. It is widely known that kimchi contains a lot of healthy lactic acid bacteria, uh -huh. which helps digestion. Okay. And do you know Koreans eat an average of 40 pounds of kimchi annually? 40 pounds? Yeah, that's a lot, right? That's like half of you, huh? <laughs> Almost, yeah. Yeah, right, okay. <laughs> All right. Let's make a dish using kimchi. So Bo, um, what kind of dish are we going to make today? Okay, today's recipe is kimchi bulgogi salad with soy sauce dressing. Mmm, sounds good. Okay. And um, we're going to introduce the um, ingredients. So I'm going to let my friends do it today. My Your friends? Yeah. Okay. Who are they? So Chef, what is today's main ingredient? The main ingredient is cabbage kimchi. Oh, what's wrong with your voice there, though? Uh, you okay? I'm okay. What's wrong with you? Oh, no, this is my normal voice. All right. And uh, what else? What are the ingredients? Uh, beef. Which part? Sealoin. It's a cut from the bottom and side parts of a cow's back. Mm, and what else? Tomatoes, lettuce, and soy sauce. Well, I guess that's it for the ingredients. And we're going to get cooking now. But, uh, Chef, hmm? you sure you're a man? <laughs> First, we're going to make... Um, We'll go get marinade. Um, you get a bowl and you What's... add um, soy sauce and one teaspoon of um, sugar, pear juice. Pear juice? Bo, why did you put uh, pear juice in the mix? Because the pear juice tenderizes the meat. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, then in that case, you're gonna have to get like 10 times more. Why this. is that? Oh, because you know, lately I've been working out. Oh, you've been working out? Yeah, oh. and my muscle is so hard. Really? It's like rock, and that's a little too hard for me. Can I? Yeah. Oh, oh well, be you careful. don't have that much muscle. Yo, be careful. Did you break your hand? No? Here we have um, the rice vinegar, pinch of minced leek, minced garlic, minced garlic, and a little mm. bit of um, sesame seeds, and drizzle of um, sesame oil. All right, sesame oil. And you mix it you well. Mix it. Yeah. Stir it well. Mm, okay. Okay, and we're gonna, you're gonna use your hand. Oh. Mix it well. So you make me do things that I gotta use my hand with, and you just do the things that you use a spoon, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's how it is. Okay, all right. Ah, you know, back in New York, my mom used to do this a lot. Really? I used to always watch her do this. And I would come by and be like, hey mom, what are you doing? And she'd be like, I'm making, you know, pugo, you know, like marinade. And um, I'd be like, oh, okay, give me some. And she would like, give, take a little piece. And, and give it, give it to me, and it would taste so good, just like this. It smells really good. We're gonna let this sit for about five to ten minutes. Sit where? Just let it sit. We'll On a chair? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> okay. It's almost you julienne kimchi. Oh. 
just a pinch Ooh. of sugar. Pinch of sugar? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sesame oil. Sesame oil. Okay. And it's your turn, Jake. You're gonna <laughs> use your hand and like you did um, the bulgogi marinade. <laughs> Smells pretty good already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because of the bulgogi seasoning. Mm -hmm. Oh, that smells so good. Um, can I just taste it before we serve it? Just a little taste before. I think so. Please, come on, just one little taste. Mm. Come on. What do I get to see then? Oh, no, what do you want me to do? I'll dance for you. Okay, how about that? Are you sure? Hey, hey. Do oh. you call that this? Oh my God. I'm just kidding. Okay, I'll I'll let you taste it. Mmm, that's good. That's really, really good. Yeah, that's good. Bum 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 bum. Today, we are going to try to prove. Theories that exist in the kitchen, right or wrong. Hey, Bo, you ready? I am ready. Are you? I'm born ready. All right. And today's theories have to do with. Fuck, 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 fuck. Point. Eggs. First, if you want to boil them in a nice form, stir. Okay, here we see um, boiled eggs. Mm -hmm. We've been boiling for about 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna take a look at inside and see what they like. Okay, I wonder how it looks. Mmm, you see the insides, they're not that pretty because the yolk is kind of like leaning yeah, to... Yeah, it has to stay in the middle. Yeah, it's leaning yeah. to a side. So Bo, what do we have to do in order for the um, insides of the egg to look pretty and the yolk to be centered? Okay, let me put it this way. The most important part is even before water boils. It's the cold water. Okay. I mean, the water temperature is very important. Okay. It has to be cold. It shouldn't be warm. Oh, okay. In the beginning? Mm-hmm. Okay. We're gonna um, stir it carefully. Um, Otherwise, it's gonna break. Okay. Wait. Until it starts to boil. We're about to find out. Wow! You see the egg yolk Ooh. is right in the middle? Yes, yeah, right in the middle and the egg yolk, it doesn't even look like yolk. It looks like a painting. <laughs> Second, eggs temper the acidy taste of kimchi. Wow, that's pretty cool. I wonder if it's true. How can we find out? Well, you're gonna taste it. Let's see what's tasting like first. It's not. Mmm! Mmm! Does it taste mm -hmm. <laughs> So what are we gonna do here with the eggs? I mean, explain to me because we have some eggs over here. Okay, here's the solution. Mm -hmm. If you add eggs, fresh eggs or just eggshell mm -hmm. to um, fermented kimchi, mm -hmm. and we're gonna let this sit for about 12 hours, mm -hmm. oh, and it slows the fermentation process. How? Because the eggshell, it's got calcium, and it helps neutralizing the acidity of kimchi. Wow, really? Mm -hmm. The calcium carbonate of eggshells is an alkaline substance which can change the acidity of kimchi. Like really thin strips, keep it in ice, ice water. Ice water. Slice it in little thin slices. Mm -hmm. Garnish the plate with tomatoes and place lettuce, bulgogi, which is Korean marinated beef, kimchi and baby vegetables in that order. Alright, now we're going to make the... Uh... Um, soy sauce dressing. dressing yeah. Yes. We're gonna need um, soy sauce. Oh, obviously. Salad oil. We're gonna add vinegar. Here we have garlic, minced garlic. Oh. Just right before you serve it. Oh, Just okay. right before you eat it. Shake this. But you know what? I don't think you shake, shake it enough. Yeah, you gotta see that. Be careful when you break that. Yeah, shake it really, really good, you know? You gotta roll it around your hands and everything. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like soy sauce dressing cocktail. <laughs> Bam! Sprinkle soy sauce dressing and you get tangy and crispy kimchi and sweet bulgogi. Kimchi bulgogi salad with soy sauce dressing. Mmm. And I think the bulgogi seasoning and the kimchi seasoning, they make a good combination. Oh, they do. Definitely. Oh, man. Well, good job. Oh, well, thank you. You did a good job too. I did? You sure? I know. I always do a good job. But, um... 
Let go of my hand. <laughs> you like, she's not letting go of my hand. Let go of my hand. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, I think she liked it. That's okay. <laughs> All right, today's healthy ingredient, kimchi and bulgogi, has been um, loved throughout Korean history, actually. It's a very traditional Korean food. And um, why has it been loved? Well, because, because it tastes good. Exactly. And it's healthy for you. Mm -hmm. And you guys at home should really try this dish. Well, that's it for today's show. And um, it's I guess time to it's... say goodbye. Yeah. You finished my lines for me, huh? <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Bye.